Hello, I am very excited to share with you this video regarding how to use artificial intelligence now inside Infinity 15. So I'm going to make it in two different parts, pretty short. First one is so how to set up Azure OpenAI, which actually is required to use the new AI features inside of Cyfinity 15. And then in part two, I'll show you how to implement that inside of Cyfinity to get full advantage of that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to portal.azure.com. I'm going to log in and don't worry about uh, seeing my uh, keys and all that stuff. After this video, I will delete the resources. So it's no harm done. I think it's important for you to see how it is done instead of actually hiding these things from you. But I can go ahead and delete these things after that. No problem. I'm going to go to my resource groups and I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new resource group in here. And inside of my own subscription, I will go ahead and call it SF15 AI, for instance. RG is usually the last two letters I always use. And I'm going to make it in the East US because I'm here in Orlando, Florida. Let's go ahead and say create. And I will be able to create a brand new resource group. The only thing you need in that resource group is to create an Azure Open AI resource. So inside of the SF15 AI uh, RG for resource group, we'll say create. And then we will look for something called Azure OpenAI. And there it is. Let's click on that. There will be a lot of different things coming up. I'm only interested in the first one that says Azure OpenAI. Let's go ahead and create one of those. And this will allow you to use completion, uh, whether you want to do chat like ChatGPT with GPT-4s, um, if you would like to do uh, DALI um, to be able to do image creation and so on. But in your Azure Open AI, again, give it a subscription. That is the resource group we just created. The region will be East US. And we'll give it a name. We'll call it Sitefinity AI. Uh, good enough for me. Sitefinity AI. Let me put a correct name in here. And the pricing tier right now, we only have one in the Azure Open AI, which is a standard S0. And again, I want to make sure you understand not everybody will have access to the Azure Open AI. Um, if you go to that resource, usually there will be a link in here saying you need to request access. You just have to fill up uh, a very short form, five questions and submit it. And hopefully within 48 uh, to 72 hours, you will be able to be given access with small coders to be able to use GPT-3.5 Turbo, GPT-4s and so on and so forth. All right. So be patient. You will uh, be able to get access to it. I'm lucky enough to be able to have access to it already. So we will create that Azure OpenAI and we'll say next. And then I'm for this one, I'm not going to secure it with specific network or private endpoints. I'm going to let all the network go through it. That's fine. We'll say next. We can actually create tags as well in case you want to see it for billing and so on. Let's we'll say next. And finally, it will allow you to create that resource. Once that resource is created, which might take 30 to 40 seconds or so, I will be able to go into the Azure OpenAI resource. I'll come back as soon as this is finished. All right, great. It finished in actually less than 30 seconds, which is great. I'm going to say go to that resource now. And notice we are in an Azure OpenAI resource called Sitefinity AI. Sounds good. You can actually start looking at your keys and endpoints, which will be very important. This is key one and key two. We only need one of them. And the endpoint will be very important, which is sitefinityai.openai.azure.com. We know that we are in the East US, but actually whether you show that key or not is not important. I'm going to actually uh, need that key one and I'm going to need the endpoint in the part two of this video to show you how to do it in Sitefinity. But this is uh, definitely a good thing. And if I'm ready to actually start creating completion or chat like ChatGPT or DALI for images, you will need to click on the go to Azure OpenAI Studio all the way at the top here. Let's go ahead and click on this guy. And that will log us in into the Azure OpenAI Studio. Okay, you notice the URL changed to oai.azure.com. This is where I can actually use ChatGPT like GPT-4 models completion. I can use models in here that is like uh, GPT-3.5 uh, Turbo. Uh, you can use it with uh, 4,000 tokens, 16,000, uh, 32K tokens. And another video will talk what tokens are. Uh, think of it as number of words, but it's not exactly. You can actually have a word split into two tokens so that you, they know how to actually charge you for all that kind of stuff. All right. And then we will have the management of deployments, models, data files, and quotas. Be careful with the quotas sometimes because I do a lot of uh, training and I do a lot of um, teaching actually on this type of stuff. I might actually end up running out of quotas really quickly. So if I click on quotas in here, you will notice, for instance, I'm going to use GPT-35 Turbo for Sitefinity. 
and I'm right now using 120 of 240 and every time I create one it will create 120 so I will need to create two of them otherwise I will run out of tokens really quickly but I left 120 tokens to be able to play with that but notice I have Da Vinci I have the 16k turbo for 3.5 I have a lot of different models available for me excellent let's go ahead and deploy one so if you click on deployment right now and that resource group is brand new I don't have anything deployed yet we will create our first deployment you'll choose what model do you want to deploy I will say let's use the GPT-35 Turbo I know I have enough tokens there and then which model would you like to use the default is 0301 and again you don't have to get into too much because they keep upgrading their models with better uh, performance and train models and so on I'm going to use the default 0331 and then we get to name our deployment that name will be very important for Sitefinity later on so right now we'll call it for instance Sitefinity uh, Sitefinity AI uh, deploy alrighty so we need to remember that name as well Sitefinity AI deploy you can call it whatever you want by the way we'll say create this guy and now immediately that deployment will be available notice it's active I can call into it it has 120k TPM which are the tokens and it is ready to go excellent so that is the first part that you need to remember you're going to need that name and also if I go back to the portal let me go ahead and open up the portal in another tab because we're going to need it later on if I go back to the portal uh, so we'll need, leave the two uh, tabs open in Chrome or Firefox or Edge make sure one of them is the open AI and one of them is the portal itself because when I go to the Syfinity AI in the keys and endpoints you can get it from there you can get that key and endpoint will be very important and from here you'll need that name Syfinity AI deploy are we all good did you see how long that that took less than five minutes and we got ourselves an Azure open AI ready to be called to be able to do generative AI from inside of Syfinity which is really awesome I'll see you in part two